This is a quick unboxing video for Battlefront's BRDM2 Recon Platoon Box. BRDMs are small wheeled vehicles used by Soviet and Warsaw Pact countries for many roles, including reconnaissance. This box set is small and it contains four resin and metal BRDM scout cars, a decal sheet, and three unit cards. Here are the parts. The hull and turret parts are resin while the wheels and guns are metal. The parts rattled around alarmingly loose in the box. I hated to think about the wear and tear during shipping, but they seem to have survived okay. BRDMs are armed with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun and a coaxial machine gun in the turret, but their primary role is scouting. In Team Yankee, this mainly means using these to probe forward and expand your deployment area. The unit cards let you use these vehicles with Soviet and East German forces. Here's the finished product. I prefer plastic to resin and metal, but detail on these looks fine. With the flat mating surfaces on the wheels and hull, it looked like it would be simple to attach them. But in practice, mating these surfaces didn't work, and getting them firmly attached, straight and level was just impossible. The finished models all rock back and forth a bit. Here I'm sanding them down so they don't rock so much. You can see I'm having to take a fair bit off some of the wheels. Your mileage may vary. Let's talk history. The BRDM is a family of Soviet amphibious armoured cars. The BRDM-2 replaces the earlier BRDM-1, entering service in 1962. This four-wheel, seven-ton vehicle is very versatile and fills many roles. It's also been widely exported, being used in 38 countries. In its standard reconnaissance form, it's armed with a 14.5mm KPVT heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm PKT coaxial gun. This turret is also used on the BTR-60 as well as the Polish Scott II and the Czech OT-64. The BRDM is powered by a V8 gasoline engine and has up to 14mm of armour protection. As well as the four main wheels, early versions of the vehicle had four additional belly wheels to aid cross-country mobility. Tyre pressures are controlled by a centralised system operating from within the vehicle. In amphibious operation, the BRDM is powered by a water jet and has a front trim vane for stability. It has a crew of four, driver, co-driver, commander and gunner. The only entry or exit is through the large hatches above the driving position in front of the turret. This makes boarding or leaving the vehicle in combat impractical. Common variants of the BRDM replace the turret with anti-air or anti-tank missiles. The AA variant is the SA-9 Gaskin. There have been several missile-armed anti-tank variants armed with the AT-2 Swatter, AT-3 Saga and AT-5 Spandrel. If we look at the Soviet unit card, it has the amphibious, infrared and spearhead special rules. Stats are fairly standard Soviet stats. Morale and remount are OK, but skill is 5+, plus and assault is 6. Counter-attack is 4+. Plus. Front armour is 1, with 0 on the sides and top. Proof against small arms, but vulnerable to anything heavier. Cross is 4+, plus, so its mobility is a bit restricted. Tactical move is 10 inches, with some good long dash speeds. Cross-country dash is 18 inches or 45 centimetres, while road dash is 44 inches or 110 centimetres. If you can get a clear run, particularly along a road network, these might be able to dash for an objective. The 14.5mm machine gun has a 20-inch range with an anti-tank 5 and 5 plus firepower. These can punch holes in light vehicles and some APCs. I haven't played with my BRDMs yet, but I polled some players online and they suggested they're useful low-point recon options for spearheading during deployment. This can deploy your own forces forward, or another suggestion was using the extended deployment area to block potential missile ambush spots for your enemy. Other players suggested using the cross-country and road dash speeds to drive for or even just threaten objectives. While they are lightly armoured, enemies tend to shoot at more capable units first. So these are a useful low-point recon unit you might want to consider for your Warpack forces. Anyway, that's the very brief unboxing of the BRDM Recon Platoon box set for Team Yankee. These guys will be a good alternative to BMP Recon units for my Soviet forces. You can get four of these for two points, half the cost of BMP ones. I'm going to give them a go next time I roll out my Soviets. We'll see how they go.